Well, you're going to teach us how to make something now. Yes. Some tarts um, of your own. Yes. No. Oh, some cherry like tarts, it. which are really, really beautiful. And they are they look complicated, but they're so easy they to make. They are so stunning. There's actually barely any cooking involved at all. So we're going to make the base, so first of all. And these are refined sugar-free and really easy to assemble. And they're vegan as well. So any oh, so vegan viewers out there, do you know what I mean? They're brilliant. Yeah. So all you need to do is pop in some oat cakes into a blender and yeah. they'll make them nice and sort of crunchy. I've got some almonds that I roasted for about five minutes in an oven and that just releases the flavour of the almonds. Do you have to change your store covered ingredients when you start cooking like this? Not massively. I think there's a few tweaks you can make and then things that are standard that I'll always have like dates that I'm putting in now. Yeah. I've always got so many dates in my house. I think you can use them for so many things. They're just a great way to sort of naturally sweeten things. Okay. A little pinch of salt to bring the flavour out, some unsweetened cocoa going in as well, which makes oh, that right. base nice and chocolatey. And Joe, I want to say just quickly yes. about that book, all of the ingredients in that book are easy to get. It's not they like are. you need to get on a plane no, and like dig no. a hole in a well <laughs> no, to get this no special digging, ingredient. No digging. No, this is coconut oil and maple syrup going in. Maple, maple syrup being a really good um, sort of natural sugar to use in And I recipes. read in his book last night, it's got less calories in it than honey. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, that's all right. You pulse So away. that's basically going to create your nice base for these tarts. So it ends up looking like that, and that's what you could smell earlier. It that smells, smells that delicious. So good. Yeah, so you just grab a handful, and then I've just, as you can see, he lined the muffin tin with some cling film, and that's a really cheap and easy way to make dishes like this because you can just oh, easily it's lift it out. So, so you just simple. pop it in. It is so simple, and you don't, you're not going to put that in the oven. No, you're going to put these in the freezer for about 20 minutes. So once you've made a nice little sort of tart shape like that, you pop those in the freezer for 20 minutes and end up with something that looks very gorgeous like this. So make that is six so tarts. clever. And then and for the lovely cream? creamy bit. <laughs> it's not double cream, but it does taste as good, I promise. So if you get two tins of coconut milk, yeah. pop it in the fridge overnight, all the fat will set at the top. Yeah. And that's the bit you use. So you can make a hole in it and then tip out all of the water. Yeah. And that you can use for soups, you can use it in smoothies, you can use it in curries. And that's so that works really good waste. for you, all that stuff. And then you just literally spoon the top bit out like that. So you're going to get... That's actually quite a cheaper way it's brilliant. of getting sort of like the coconut fat yeah. rather than going and buy the jars. And, and coconut fat, because as we now know, after everybody confusing us with fat. the can't, it is, it's, it, fat yeah, it's is good. good. It's really, yeah, fat is great. And it's, you know, fat's got a bad name. Fat, good fats are really, really good for you. So you want to get two tins of that, which I've got here and then again you just want to pop this into your blender and you can see it's a really nice consistency it's very creamy already mm. you're just going to add a little bit of flavor to that basically so just wallop, wallop it then yeah, wallop on, it all girl. in we're not going to be neat about things my kitchen is definitely not a neat place Do you guys want to make this at home as well some deals coming along now they are oh, the Look, deals so a, pan, a little bit of vanilla <laughs> you're going to use also some set honey you don't want to use the runny stuff because it will make it much too runny oh okay right. So whack that in, and again, a little pinch of salt. I do actually need a bit more coconut in there, so oh, we'll cool. just dollop a little bit more in. Chuck it in, it's a good fat, babe. It's a great fat, it's a great fat. Excuse and the whiz fingers. it up. There we go. And then you're just going to whiz that up. So, here we go. Oh. Is it on there? Is it plugged in? Yeah, it's that bit, it's the safety. Oh, there we go. Thing. Oh. Thing. Your kitchen, you know. <laughs> I know. I know, it's true. So, once you've whizzed that up and it looks beautiful, you end up with this. It looks like some sort of decadent marshmallow it sort does. of filling. It lovely. And then all we need to do is really just sort of scoop that into the tart cases. So, I don't know if you want to start yeah, doing that, Yeah, I can do that. And then you can pass it down the production line to Ryland. Okay. And then, Ryland, your job is to recreate... Hang on, how much am I putting in here just to the okay, top? Okay. Maybe you need... Yeah, just like that. Absolutely beautiful. I, I mean, that. you could literally have it spilling oh, over the edges. Hang on, that one wasn't quite so beautiful. very pretty. But as you can see, they're so, so easy Don't to crumble make. it up. I'm not going to crumble it up. Really I'm it up. Really good for a little tea party. My mum had a tea party at mine at the weekend and all of her friends very much enjoyed it. It's really impressive. And actually, it takes the pressure off. Because I'm all right until I stick it in the oven. And then I always burn the pastry or the soggy bottom. No, these actually, are done. This is quite a foolproof way of not getting a soggy bottom. Yeah. Right, Look and that's looking Ryland. beautiful. Like and that's it. it. You know, like, it's, just, it's just abstract. That's it. <laughs> it's beautiful. That is like... art right there. What's this? That's for getting the stone out of a cherry, if you wish. But actually, you can just pop them on like that. It's a good gadget, that. Oh, look. All right. She Love wants one of those. A gadget. She wants one of those. <laughs> can, we, can we dive in? And let's do it. Thanks, bro. Let's okay. eat. Yeah, Thanks. Yeah.
I'll have to sign. And again, it's not a neat situation okay. eating these. I'm going to have to take the cherry off because I know that's going to go everywhere. Mmm. They're yummy, aren't they? Really. I yes. I fancy them. Really good. You. No, like, really and amazing. Mmm. And no, the base really is really chewy yeah, as well. It's, it's really, there. honestly, really delicious. That mm -hmm. tastes naughty. It does taste naughty. It tastes the, really the naughty. The whole book tastes quite naughty, but it's very virtuous. I mm. love it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. That was so nice.